Hey, I'm Kerwin Frost, and life can really hit you like a ton of bricks. Don't just sit around thinking, contemplating, what can you do? Start your own business. Get the bright idea and go on Shopify.com. It's very easy. And just like that, you can do it. I'm out. And on this episode of Kermit Frost Talks, we have a special treat. Uh, the most interesting man in the world, John Mayer! Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for being on my show, John. Uh, it was an instant yes. Oh, yeah. But it wasn't an instant how. Oh. But it was an instant yes. Yeah, and I appreciate that. That's really true. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've been working on a new record? I'm in the studio doing nothing but working on a new record. Um, so studio, home, go to sleep, wake up, two hours to mess around, studio whole rest of the day, which has been good to just focus on music because when you have everything, normally when all the plates are spinning, yeah. they pull you out of the studio for this and that, and right. I'm not getting pulled out of the studio, and I think the results are gonna be heard. Dang. The, result, the result of unbroken momentum creatively, I think will be heard, which, I didn't see coming again in my career, but it is very much like the first record where it's just about making music because that's all you have. Right, right, right. Uh, so yeah. I'm in, I'm, I have no reason to leave the studio. You know, the dinner is the death of great art. The dinner. What's the dinner? The dinner is where you're in the studio and it's 3 p.m. and you're trying to figure something out and then it's like 5 p.m. and you strike gold. Right. And that's gonna take about four or five hours to figure out, but you have a dinner at eight. Uh, and you go, by the way, I have a dinner at eight. And everybody goes, oh, okay, he's got a dinner at eight. Yeah. And you will miss a lot of magic because of that you dinner. had a dinner at eight. And the dinner's like the victory lap. Well, right. I get to go wear my new jacket out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the guy who did that. Yeah. But you're leaving the thing that could be incredible if it weren't for you wanting to do that dinner. Dang. Dinners are off the table. Right and we go all the way through those magic hours that are normally done with outfit changes. Yep. And like, well, maybe bring a couple jacket backups in the car in case right. on the way to dinner, I decide not? it's not that kind of night. Yeah. None of that, all of that is gone. And it's, it's just, just you make your game. record. Yeah. It's lean. Dang. It's lean. That's lean. And then um, with, with like, how would you describe your last record? Cause I feel like there was this just kind of I don't know, there, there was this cohesiveness with like, with um, Room for Squares, and then it, it, you saw the shift in them too. Uh -huh. And you saw it get like darker and more blues, but then you, um, but then like by, by like 2010, there was like, you know, you just kind of like dipped, but then you came back yes. with this new sound that was like perfect, but it was like perfect for you. Yes. And then when you came with the last album, it seemed like it was kind of like, not the greatest hits, but like kind of like you hitting those touch points of like every pocket that you have. Yes, it, it, it is. It was like a collection of that. It's a little mixtapey. Yeah. And I really like the songs on that album. Yeah. It's not necessarily any document of one moment because yeah. when I did Dead and Company, when I started playing those shows, I would leave the studio and then go on these wild jags right, with right. that band and then come back and go, I have new song ideas. Damn, yeah. And there was a day when that record would have been the most cohesive, but the the project was left open for so long right. that I would come back a year later and go, I got another song. There would be updated ideas. And this record is a response to that, where it's the same 10 songs that yeah. were locked in like May. Wow. So I've been working on the same 10 songs. There's yeah. no distraction, there's no like, hey, I know we're in the middle of this one, but I just stumbled on it. It's like, that's for the next record. Because I felt like the search for everything had gone through so many revisions that it ended up 
not maybe where its natural fate was supposed to be. And I'm like, this one? Yeah, but it, need, it did what it really needed to do. And then there, there's a lot of magic moments within the songs, like, um, like uh, you'll you'll live for, uh, you're gonna live forever and yeah that's like a fucking that that's like a Pixar like yeah. dream song yeah that one or like that um, one screwed me up I was yeah that one that one messed me up yeah I don't know how to play the piano really right and uh, I sat there I think I had my jacket on because I was ready to leave wow but I just sat there and I just kept running these chords and and I I just kept going and going and going till I figured it out. And all I had that night was that whole yeah. little thing. And I took it home and then I came back the next night and I started writing the lyrics and I was, it's the only time I was like bawling. Wow. I was bawling. While you were writing them. Yeah, I was bawling. And oh, there's one other time I was bawling. And, and that's on the same record and that was a song called uh, Never on the Day You Leave. Oh, wow. That, forget it. I can't make it through. But, yeah. But the, I would be writing and the microphone would be open, and the engineer who I've been working with for years would just wait for me to write, you know? And you'd hear this, oh. <laughs> That's when I hit a line. <laughs> That's when I hit a line that right, hit right. me. I'd be writing, and I went, oh. Yeah, yeah, it like just naturally it comes, comes out. And, and the thing about that song is that that is the only song I think of as not being me singing. Yeah. Everything else, I'm like, OK. I'm me, right, right, and I sound like this. So I gotta sound like. But this one went. It was like almost like the way thoughts might sound mm. before they hit your vocal cords. But it was so good because you felt the soul of That's it. That's it. Parts of me yeah. were made by you. There's no, there's no quality to it other than these are the words and these are the notes. I mean, there is a, li a bit of like a, a little bit of like a torch singing thing in it. But you know, you know, it, it's like planets keep their distance too. Moon's got a grip on the sea. There's no like, oh, people are listening and I'm a famous guy and I'm- Right, right. That's just like, like complete vulnerableness, like just everything on the table. A big black box and it's just you and God. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the best songs. That It's just you and, yeah. and the maker. That's it, yeah. you know? And, uh, but, but what's really weird is that like, I think that song, it's as good as a song as I've ever written. Yeah, no, for sure. But at a certain point in your career, people tend to go like, "Oh no, 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 we got the ones we we got we got the we got the shot." I don't think I don't you know think, I, mean? I don't think it reaches that for you. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'll listen to um uh uh, what's the second album? It's uh I don't even heavier things. Heavier things, yes. And the songs on there are so like the cover. It, you look at the cover and immediately you think of that time. You're yeah. wearing the baggy jeans with the fit shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then but like you listen to Wheel or like you just listen yeah. to that album and it rides yeah. out and there's this gloom to it, but like you're not grim. You're just kind of like, it, it feels like New York. Oh, that's like interesting. Like through and through, yeah. I was in LA the whole time. Wow. <laughs> Maybe you were channeling that's, that. That's though. great though, because it feels, it brought you to New York. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I was, I remember thinking to myself, I've got to make another record really quickly because I don't want anyone to think the first one was an accident. There, or that I only yeah. have, so I want to go back wow. in. And there are, I mean, when you look at the careers of people who've been around for 50 years and you look at their set list, it's like, sometimes it'll give you uh, sort of an imperfect picture of what you think you need to be. Because like, right. these are bands that have been around for 50 years yeah. and they're pulling 16 songs yeah. out yeah. of That's dozens true. and dozens and dozens yeah. of records. So you're gonna hit some and you're gonna miss some. Right, right. And every record I've done has hits and misses. And even the ones that aren't my favorite records, there will be a song on there and I'll be like, that did it. Right. And, and, you, and if you were thinking about how you could have made it better, you could have spent more time. You could have taken the four that you knew were unforgettable and just kept going and going and going. Right. And you wouldn't have had the tour. Yeah. And you wouldn't have been around you know and you wouldn't have grown from that and i, I feel like it, yeah. there are ideas that kind of just stop where you need to stop them right and and, and i've learned to get over that 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 level of perfection is unattainable and was never attained even by the people that you put up on the cork board and go i want to be that yeah no no you know no i had a moment like that when i saw like a uh, kanye's uh factory of clothes and it's just like everything that's like that you can imagine you know what you could get as a creative, like all in one place. And it's like, oh, this is like complete result of like yeah. trying to outdo yourself. 
and it's forever me- and it's messy yeah and it's messy and it doesn't end well doesn't end well it's always messy i say, yeah. i say that you know being a musician or a songwriter you know when you create that way it's like a really 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 great restaurant with the fucking messiest kitchen you've ever seen and you can go crazy in the kitchen yeah but you have to remember that all the all the patrons of the restaurant see are these beautiful dishes that come out yeah but but it's very difficult sometimes to separate the fact that you may have gone in the studio for a week and come up with nothing right right or junk that you heard that no one else heard it, man. No, no. They're still going yeah. off of this really compressed thing where just you're just the best of what you want to have come out. And to you, it's not that. Yeah, I got I got an edible high the other night, mm-hmm. and uh, I was laying in bed and I was on Instagram, and I had a very strange kind of artifact of being high, and I felt like Instagram could see me. Yeah. And I went, they can't see you, man. Oh wow. You're fine. Now yeah. I mentioned it on camera. Yeah. So I didn't really. Ult- yeah. Ultimately, I sold <laughs> myself out. <laughs> but. I was like, I had to remind myself, you're in your house, man. Yeah. I can't, no. they can't see you right you're now. Safe. They, don't, they yeah. don't know you're vulnerable right now. I felt seen, it's not crazy. paranoid, yeah, no, but no. I felt seen I know what you mean. when I wasn't being seen. Yeah. And I had to remind myself, Damn. You're, in, you're in your room, man. You can think whatever you want to think. Holy shit. Damn. Well, so you really understand the, the flow of records I put out. Yeah, I, I feel like That's I do, cool, definitely. Man. Yeah, it's nice. That is real. I haven't thought about it in forever because I'm only thinking about like the newest stuff I have that's right. not right yet. So you never like just go back and because something I notice like when you do like the live shows, you always like switch the set list like every yeah, show. Yeah, I have to. I have to. I'll which is like no one does that, or like I guess people I'm do, true. but not a lot. I'm somewhere between a pop artist and a jam band. Yeah, maybe closer to pop artist, but I can't repeat the show. Right, right. I've I've done it and it's really good to get everyone on the same page as you early on. But where I'm trying to get to now is like, I, and I'm not thinking about it in terms of doing three shows in a row because of the demand for it, but like three shows in a row that didn't repeat. Yeah, I think that would be, I mean, Pearl Jam's done that so well, where if you fight for it the right way, every one of your songs is a baseball card worth right. owning. Yeah. And you yeah. have to, you have to work it, work it, work it, work it so that there's not like, here are the big songs and here are the other ones. No, they're all in the same world. And it takes a couple tours yep. to go, trust me, I'm playing this deep cut because yeah. I want to give it this life on stage for the rest of, of so my cool. life. But there are some uncomfortable moments in making that change because... People like, come like specifically to hear like, and you might decide, oh, I want to do this entire album only this show. You got and. Me. Some people are there because they dig the guitar playing. Yeah. Some people are there because they're like, if you don't play Daughters, I'll kill you. Some people are there because they want to hear the song I wrote when I was 20 that I never yeah. recorded. Yeah. And some All people, so, 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 it's like, they don't tell you while you're doing something for everyone. Yeah. There's also other people who don't want to hear that. No. no. Who are taking a bathroom break. And you have to, and I, I'm telling you, you have to do this. I don't do it well. I know that I should. That while I'm playing Walt Grace's submarine test, right. there's another person who's going, What what is this? Yeah. What is, I did not we did not get a babysitter <laughs> for this. Is he gonna play Seg? <laughs> Better play Seg. And I'm That's in, definitely me. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely me, by the way. <laughs> what what's that? That you that you wanna you wanna hear Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Which what which which John Mayer concert showgoer would you be? I wanna see him play the guitar. I want them to play the deep cut, or I want to. I want to hear the biggies. I think it's the deep cuts mixed with the biggies. The deep, yeah, yeah, but it's mostly the deep cuts. What song? If I, if you came to a show, when you come to a show, yeah. What song would you say? You know what? Had my time with it. Not gonna need that one, and I probably will play it, but I'm not gonna need that one. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> um, God, let me see. Fuck, I don't see. I thought that before. I, if you could skip forward a moment, if you if a moment had a had a next. Oh, play, come on! And you go, no, got it. Love the song, but let's see what else he's got. <laughs> what's What's the song you don't need to hear at a show of mine? What's the- What's uh? <laughs> no, I love the idea that you're gonna make me sing it. What's the one that goes? <laughs> and I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, no, is it this one? You go. No, it's not that one. That was not great either. But it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, you're gonna make me 
That's like going like, I know you from somewhere. Probably like, Where do I know you from? I don't, like Queen of California? You're not going to need Queen of California. Yeah, yeah, no. Got no, it. No. Got it, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what, you know what went through my mind when you said that? And this is my point. I went, oh, fine. I love Queen of California. I was going to say, well no, but then people. you did a couple of songs from that album. Uh, I, I saw you, um, when you played, uh, I think it was, was it Madison Square Garden? It was Madison Square Garden. And you did a lot of songs from that album. Yeah, from Born and Raised, yeah. From Born and Raised, yeah. But I actually liked it. It was good. Born was and nice. Raised, you'll catch it. Is very much based on a thing that I think is age dependent. That's not about. A, it's not necessarily about the fireworks of harmonic stuff or chordal. No, stuff. No, but it holds up. It, but it's very. Yeah, it's it's like. Yeah. A, it's like a just like a denim. Yeah. It's like a pair of denim jeans. It holds up. Yeah, whiskey, whiskey is on there. Yeah, such it's a got, that's a really it's good its one. Its own little thing. Yeah. But that's the fun part. It sucks in the moment to change. Yep. But if you do it long enough and you look back. Well, you've just made a quilt. Yeah. You've just made something with some tapestry, with some texture. I always find it hard yeah. to like ex explain kind of your music. And a lot of people will like tee it up to be like a certain kind of thing or like a, a classic one is like, like, uh, like talk about John Mayer and then somebody will be like, oh yeah, that's like Jack Johnson. Right. And I'm just like, that's so fucking disrespectful. Well, well, I mean, it, because Jack Johnson's cool, cool. but he's under, like, he's like under, mom talk music. To, I, I understand. It's like point. mom talk music. I understand the point. Like the Hamptons. It usually reveals what that person thinks about music. Yeah, it's like pattern matching. Yes. So if you, you know, oh, oh, with headwear, yeah. you'll see a lot of people sometimes see your hat and they'll go, oh, you look like so-and-so. And they'll be wildly off. Yeah, yeah. But what they've done is given you their GPS yeah. right. is to the last, uh, the most, the most specific thing they've seen involving right. a hat. Right, right. Right. So you've seen guys hit on girls with glasses. Okay, Tina Fey. Yeah. So is this your point of reference for a yeah. female with, with glasses? glasses? Yeah, it's just the glasses. So you've imprinted other people with what you think about these things. Yeah. So if someone says he sounds like this person to me. I go, well, that would that starts to give me an impression of your music library. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I've had people say Dave Matthews, and I've had people say Michael Franks, and I've had people say, and it's really like an interesting insight into what they listen yeah. to. I think it evades, for better and worse, it evades description, and I'll tell you why. Mm. Me being a singer songwriter yeah. is not necessarily a core instinctive automatic thing. Right. What is that is me being a thinker and a wanter and a doer mm -hmm. and a writer. Yeah. So me being a singer and a songwriter is not necessarily like bone marrow deep. Yeah. It's a, what is bone marrow deep is thinking about things, analyzing things, wanting to make the things I like. Yeah. So then that's right about here. But here, I'm dreaming things up. I'm listening to things. I go, oh, I want to make a record like that. Does it ever stop you? No. no. At this point, no, at shouldn't. this point, it really if, if it drives me, I'm yeah. doing it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I, I always think the next record is the one everybody wants. Just play the guitar. Just come out with the karate demonstration there. Just come out with the blues solo. <laughs> and I go, believe me, there's Good. nothing more I want to do. Here we go. Yeah. And then I sit down and I play it and I go, all right. And then I write something that's like, I go, that, that makes me giggle. Yeah, yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. And I know that I could, I know that I could shred. Yeah. But man, it doesn't interest me like, and if you give me just one night, yeah. you're gonna leave me. And other people go, what a wasted opportunity, Mayor. And I go, no, the wasted opportunity would be me making a record with guitar playing all over it. And what I really want to do is make melodies, yeah. do these things yep. that are so good that yeah. you laugh out loud. I don't know why laughing yeah. musically is like better than applause. Mm. Like laughter when something is great is the ultimate compliment yeah. to me. And yeah. I, when I'm making this record right now, like, I'm laughing out loud, and I'm not even sure if it's because I think it's great or because I think it's insane, <laughs> which is where you should be 20 years down the line. Right, right, right. Is making things that still make you laugh. I mean, you, yeah. you design. That's the same. Yeah, it's the same. If you're not, thing for me. if you don't laugh, if you yeah. don't cackle, yeah, yeah, 
Fully. It hasn't tickled Fully. It that's hasn't how gotten, I get dressed. That's like, it, it's an, yeah. it has to give you that or it's not worth it. If I don't, if I'm posting an Instagram story and I, and I, and I want to be, I want it to be funny. If I didn't go ha! Yeah. <laughs> alone in my house, yeah. I shouldn't post it. wasn't it. worth it. And no. if I did, then I'm going to be okay. Yeah. As long yeah. as it, it didn't hurt anybody and it made me laugh out loud, it doesn't need second thought. So yeah, I think, I, I think you, ha you have to do what makes you giggle in that way, you know? And maybe it's not a giggle for some people. Maybe yeah. it's like, it makes them cry or they go, oh no, this is how I want to be known. But I've also seen the metric of cool. Yeah. Wait, that, sorry, I just thought oh. of something. Because it is something that you do, uh, do whether it's like a lot with the earlier stuff too. Like, I don't know, like even, I remember hearing like City Love for the first time. And it was so fucking funny that like you, uh, uh, she le she leaves her toothbrush at my place, and then it's like she wears my shirt to was go to it, work. Wasn't it? Oh man, it wasn't I don't remember the lyric. She, she leaves her toothbrush at my place, as if I as had, if I had the, the extra, extra space. space. Yeah, yeah, yeah she yeah. steals my clothes to go to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it's just like yeah. that's such a vulnerable, like weird thing to space. say openly in a song. Yeah, because it's not something that guys would like flex right. about or something. Right, but you're just like openly, just kind of like saying that dialogue. Oh yeah, I mean uh, that's that's like. Um, a kind of specificity yeah. that allows you to smell the place. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you don't have extra space in yeah. New York City for a toothbrush, no. I know what the wall smells. Yeah. Like. That's the best part <laughs> yeah. of being a writer. Yeah. One detail that yeah. creates a domino effect, and you can then, you know, what time of year it is somehow. You can see the. Place. That's the fun yep. part, man. Yep. Yep. That's the fun part. You go. I, I don't know why I understand what room this is in, but I understand yeah. what room this is in. You know. Damn. Um, but I was saying like. And I, I want everyone to know this. Everyone who is an artist, everyone who's trying so hard to break through a certain kind of cool barrier. Like, I've seen the cool metric change. Yeah, so many times. So many times that I'm not telling you don't chase cool. Yeah. I'm saying uh, it's not worth it. No. Like, if you could chase cool and get it, by all means. I'm saying by the time you reach what you think is cool, Cool's like, over here now. Yeah, it's over here, yep. The princess is in another castle. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fully. That's a Mario reference. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't catch it. The, the princess time. is in another castle. Yeah. Every time you got to the end of a board in Mario, they would tell you. Yeah. Sorry, princess is in another castle. And yeah. on you go. Damn. That is true. Sometimes instead of a, one movie with one pyramid of like, uh, a two-hour pyramid of like, you know, establishing thing, rising action, climax. I want to see like a movie with four smaller movies where everything just goes like quickly and well. Like imagine yeah. like the first one is a hostage negotiation and they like- They just figure it out guy. within just 20 get minutes. get the guy. Oh, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> can't take two hours of stress. <laughs> Wouldn't, I have this idea. Yeah. The next Batman movie to go into production uh -huh. should be three Batman movies that are 40 minutes long. <laughs> Each one, a different Batman, smaller story arc, yeah. three Batmans. That's right. the name. Is it a different villain in each Batman? Yeah, different everything. Yeah. I don't want the two hour no. struggle. We get it. I want three smaller struggles with a faster resolve. Yeah. The older you get, the less you want to see trouble. Yeah, and the buildup of it. Like the beginning of speed, that should be the end of speed, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Are you the older you get? You watch a horror movie, you go, leave these kids alone. <laughs> so, um, do you remember when you did the iPod Nano thing? Yeah, man. I remember every time I ever stood next to Steve Jobs. Can you tell me about every time, like in detail, including like smells, <laughs> uh, things like that? Uh, um, He's dead now. Yeah, that is, that is true. Um, a, a cursory bit of research would reveal that. Yeah. Um, every interaction was memorable and valuable. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, the things he said to me went straight into the first page of my playbook forever. Wow. Forever. Could you give us like just a little? Yes. He said to me, greatness is communicated in everything you do. Wow. Well. And that was the day I went, every font's going to matter. Wow. Everything. And, and he was right. Um, if you're releasing something, if you're putting something out, 
It is a result. It's not one thing. It is a result of probably a hundred moving parts. Yep. And if all hundred moving parts are Have right, that same amount of care that you it's do that like, thing. It's you yeah. just want to. You just want to. Yeah. yeah. Cause you know and if it's have. not, the other day that someone was showing me um, a test site for a thing. Yeah. And I looked at it and I went, "It's a free font." Right. And they went, "What? I, it's a free font. Buy the font, <laughs> because." Free fonts are bullshit. Yeah. You always tell when someone uses a free Damn. font. And I don't care how Damn. great your record is. <laughs> come at me with a free font. I can tell from the album cover. I can tell who downloaded from dafont.com. Wow. wow. And went, why pay 500 bucks for Atlas Grotesque yeah. when I can get this thing called Groty <laughs> for free? Yeah, but guess what? The H is up like four pixels. And the word the and the e wow. is all, and, and a whole page of that. Yeah. Your brain doesn't know it. Damn. But your heart can tell. Your heart goes, it's not working. And when you buy the font, and you see a whole page of a five hundred dollar font, yeah. You go, you go, you get put at ease. Right, right. That's the fun part about making things now. It's not the bigger things. It's the little things, all going together, and that's what makes the difference between a record coming out and you going, whether you heard the record or not. You go, oh, that feels good. The yeah. Shawn Mendes record feels phenomenal as a cohesive thing down to the last little scribble of a thing. Right, right. And that may be, in this day and age, and it certainly is more visible than the actual record, yeah. that might be more the product than the actual thing. Like, I think the photo of the next sneaker right. you put out yeah. is more important than the fit. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, or yeah. as important. Let's say yeah. as important. Because it's like the whole presentation. Because I might not wear the sneaker. That sneaker, yeah. But I will in intake it. And embed that moment. And it will feel like something. Yeah. yeah. And that yeah. sometimes is the More thing. Smart. Yeah. You yeah. know, I've learned to start looking at things that are beautiful and not having to buy them because I think they're beautiful. Yeah. Um, like, I don't need to own this. I don't need to. I can appreciate this from right here. I, I, buying it yeah. is not an upvote. I recently went through that. Yeah. And I went, oh, I'm buying it because I appreciate it. Yeah, and it's like, oh, come here. Yeah, come now I, I, <laughs> now I'm learning to go like this. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's beautiful. Yeah. That yeah. is a beautiful execution yeah. and leave. That's how my, my accountant's training me to think like that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it, they... They, um, my taxes are looking crazy. You know what? A lot of 325, uh, only a few $325 purchases make a thousand dollars. It's just insane. 325 will catch you. Yeah. I went to the Seven Eleven and I bought some things and it was a hundred dollars and I was just getting like water, Red Bull and some, it's some kombucha. Okay. You might, you might've been ripped off there. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> From what I'm I know, hearing. I know. I felt great. Hearing. Yeah. No, but. The number three is wild yeah. because on its own, it's just three. Yeah. But just three of those threes, you're basically at 10, it's man. It's a full hunk. You're basically, at, it's a full hunk. It's a hunk. It's a so, hunk. you know what I mean? But back to the, back to Siege. No, I'd like to stay here. But just back to Siege. If we could just talk about Siege. <laughs> I'm I was, gonna, was there a song that he's just like really liked of you? Because it was just such a good pairing. I mean, I don't. When it comes to like Apple advertisement, especially around during that time, there was just like, they always paired with just like very sharp, like musicians. Like your music was like just very sharp. Mm -hmm. Or like, I don't know, when I think of like Bjork. Yeah. And how hard she hits. I think, like, I think that, I think that uh, Steve liked the music a lot. Yeah. I think it was, a, I think it meant a lot to him. Yeah. So that was, uh, yeah, I, I think he personally liked it a lot. And, yeah. and that was always a hyper flattering thing. That was a very flattering thing. The, yeah, that's true. What, what, what was that thought? That was a thought that came and went. I don't know. Oh, okay. I was oh, you also, okay. I was interested in the thing you thought of and went, no, not that. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to know what you, I wanted to know what you, what you cut. <laughs> what did Kerwin Frost do? <laughs> Too wild. So um, be right before COVID and then maybe like lightly in the beginning of it, you did Current Mood. Yes. Which is amazing. Thank you. Man. It's nice seeing you step out Thank of John Mayer. It's like, this is, yeah. this is who I really am. I just want to talk to people. Yeah. Let's fucking get it on. Right. But in uh, 2003, 2002, the VH1 show, the yeah. John Mayer show, 
And it's very similar. Yes. The, the, I think that that little show had a couple of things in it that went the distance in terms of people. It was ahead of its time. The I, humor was there, crazy. There was, there, I, I, you know, this, this, people, this may turn people off. Yeah. But I, uh, may. <laughs> but I see things still and I go, I, I, I think I did the focus group. Yeah, you did the focus group. I think the focus group. I think I did that. <laughs> I think I did the focus group. But, and it's not like, you're, you're not upset, you're more curious. Yeah. Have you ever wondered whether you started a thing? I have. And it's not, you're just like, hey, I, I did started that. You yeah. go like this. Yeah. Did I fucking start that? Yeah. And you could be wrong, and someone could go, no, man, the focus group was actually, and you go like this. Oh, God, fine. Uh, all right. But you're, you're like. Yeah, yeah, I go through that moment every time. And yeah. you, have to, you have to always talk yourself out what of you, it. What do you think it was? What's the thing that you heard or saw, and you went, I think that was It's it. happened to me with so many Is things. Is there one that's, that's shareable? <sighs> Fuck, not that I could think of on the spot, but it's just, it's such a common thing, and especially like, I mean, with me being into fashion, and then right. also like it's just like, right. it's 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 very common. But it's like the thing is, is the reward of finding out whether they did or didn't take it, right. is never fulfilling. That's right. Even if they tell you to your face, yeah, I did it. Right. Or or you never find out. Or you never find out, which no, is probably eight out of ten would normally. No, I know. I go, <laughs> like, I'll be in the car sometimes. And I'll hear a new song, and there'll be a guitar part in there, and I'll go. Yeah. Is that your boy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and you're not going like, hey, I did that. No, no. But sometimes, I mean, and you're not even being self-congratulatory. You're just like, did I? Is that yeah. me? Did yeah. I, I did I do the focus group? Sounds... I saw a focus group thing the other day, and I went, I think I did the focus group. But it, you, you don't feel ripped. I don't feel ripped off because no. I didn't keep doing the show. Yeah. Why didn't you keep doing the show? What happened? Uh, I was touring. I just didn't. I, I, I remember thinking I couldn't do both at the same time. I also can't do current mood at the same time I'm writing a record. Wow. I have a Record with two different people. Um, it's, it's the same person with two separate thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. same thing, right? <laughs> so I, I have a certain amount of uh, creative energy that if I split the vote, neither thing works. Right. So if I wasn't making a record right now, I would be writing in my phone all day current mood wow. ideas. But I went, I can't do current mood right now because I need to, to come home and obsess. Because we're talking about, it, like, I obsess myself yeah. for a living. Yeah. Hopefully, safely, uh, obsess myself with ideas. And the product of that obsession are these song ideas. Or yeah. maybe I'll put this in that bridge. And yeah. if I'm too busy thinking about how to make a joke work. Yeah. Because it's, by the way, it's the same spark. I pro For me... Again, no crafting a, a joke is crazy. It's, it really is. It, yeah. Crafting a joke yeah. is the same thing as crafting a song yep. for me. Yep. And I think that's hard for some people to have understood in the beginning yeah. is I'm me and these are the things I want to do. Yeah. And I can't do both of them and have both of them be uh, important. Yeah. So I went, okay, I've got to divert every last bit of steam into the bonkers concept of one person yeah. making 10 songs that sound like five young people in a band <laughs> playing on the same day, all with the right amount of different drugs in them. One, the bass player, all right, bass player, your heart just got broken. Yeah. Okay, singer, you just bought a new car. And yeah. to get excitement to boil that way from one guy yeah. going into the studio repeatedly. But I still think of funny ideas all the time. I give them to my professionally funny friends. Yes. And I hear their jokes sometimes. Very and I go, yeah, I, I, hooked, I, I can't really write a joke but I can give you the joke parts. Yeah. So I can say to a, a, a comic, what about a thing where it's this and that and that, and, and they go, oh, you mean, and I go, yeah, they that's like why I'm a guitar player. That, yeah. Because they can execute. Completely generate it back to you. Yes, I can't execute. Damn. I can't, that's why when I stand next to Chappelle, right. he's, the, he's the mouthpiece, and I can sort of pedal the thing along with mm. him. Because he kind of takes the train on the rail. He's the guy. I mean, and then he's you, the you can guy. Like move it side to I side. I can help. Yeah. I can help pedal. Yeah. I'm the guy behind <laughs> it. He's he's steering, <laughs> and I can help pedal. And and I I think I have um, I understand the f comedy. I have the, the mind for it. I don't have the face for it. Right. It's a little punchable, yeah. and I don't have <laughs> the ability to execute. And also, at a certain point in your life, you go, do I want to be a Renaissance man? Right. Or do I just want to do the, the thing? The one thing that, that, comes... that serves the purpose and then enjoy the rest of the time yeah. to actually enjoy my real life. Do I want to be the 4,000th funniest person? Yeah. 
or somewhere in the 40 uh, of, of music. Yeah. You know, I'd rather, I'd, I think I'm ready to put all my chips into that and make my funny friends laugh at home. Yes, yes, yes. You know. Damn. I have a question for you. Talk to me. You have a long-term partnership with Adidas. Yeah, yeah. What's a long-term partnership like? <laughs> Specifically with Adidas? No, just in general. A long-term partnership. I don't know, that's my joke. Oh, oh, so you didn't really want me to answer that. No, I don't know what a long-term partnership is like. Oh, it's, um, so basically, it's, it's interesting. It's like a real relationship. Um, I love working with Adidas. Um, when, I came, when I came in, it was very like, he's like the witty guy. So let's like throw witty things mm -hmm. at him. So it's like my job to be like, no, no. This is that we walk this Isn't line. That funny, yeah. When people think they have the sense of you, and then they try to generate more of yeah. it. No, you, yeah. You go. That's not it. No, for a lot, and I don't know why it, it feeds like that for a lot of people because they tend to like, or in corporate corporate companies that I work with, it, it tends to go backwards into more of like it gets diluted into this childlike, nostalgic like '90s this, uh -huh. and I'm just like, no, I. It, 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 I think it proves how special your mind is. Yeah. If even people who understand your mind right, right. go, let me do one. <laughs> That's literally what it is. And then they show you what they think is one. And you go, I would never have thought of that. No, but when in talking to them, you're like, oh, you get it. Yeah. Get it. And yeah. Then, okay. So, oh my God. Okay. All right. 2007, um, the tour merch. It's a bait flip. Yes. And, it's a bait yeah. Flip. And no one fucking, your fans are in Nashville. They're here. They're there. No one fucking gets what you're doing. No. Even if you search up the shirt, yes. you can't search up John Mayer Bape. It won't no, come up. No, it can't. was that incognito. Yes. And that was so fucking crazy. So Bape was a thing that only touring artists from the US yeah. figured out. Right. And it was hilarious. Yeah. At the time, we didn't know who Nego was. We didn't know any of this. We just knew there was a store called Bathing Ape you had to go to. Oh, so you randomly just found out going we to We just town. knew you'd go to Bathing Ape. And the you hadn't heard were... it or seen it on, on Kanye or anything? No, 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 no. This was 2003. I, have, I, I went nuts in 2003 on super early Bathing Ape, and I, I have that. boxes oh. of like the original Bape Shall Never Kill Where is it, where is it all sitting? In storage in the future John Mayer Streetwear Museum. Yeah, wow. You know? hosted by Cornell University. Right, right, yeah. But we would go to um, Japan, and this was before the sort of internet really, I mean, the internet was around, but before the network of, of everything was locked in. Yeah. And you'd walk around with a shirt when you came home. Right. That said, a bathing ape busy works. Ba ape, ape shall never kill ape. Yeah, or, what? And you'd go, what is that? Yeah. And it would just be great and fun, and it made sense that hip hop would have picked up on it. Yeah. And I just thought it was great and funny. Well, because it was an imitation of hip hop. It was an imitation yeah. of hip hop. Which then became its own thing. Which, which you know, you get teriyaki boys. Yeah. It's hilarious. Wow. You know, and, and you get these shirts that are plays on things that we in America just never really thought about. Yeah. Like an American Express card. Yeah. Something. Right. And the very first G Shock that I thought was out of control was the Bape G Shock. Was it the pink one? No, it was a black one, and it, and it each letter of Wow. G Shock was a different color. Yeah. They were super playful. Yeah. So for me, I mean, Cause did like the, the laminates for the 2000, maybe like eight tour or something. Oh, and Futura did the laminates for 2007. Wow. So, I mean, this was back when there wasn't this giant neural network of streetwear. No, so it didn't even get around. You went to Union on like Sullivan. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and, this is when their stock was in the floor. It was a trap right. door, and they yeah. came out from they so came, shady, you know. And it was yep. great. And you went to La Brea, and was there was part undefeated, and there was Union, and there was a couple other places. And 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 if you ever saw someone else wearing it, you would just start talking because yeah, there there because it's such a small community. People. Yeah, there were no lines. Yeah, no, of those places. no, no. And so and if there was, everyone was like having fun on the line. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, it was like there was just community. misfits. Man. Yeah, yeah. That that was a world. Yep. For misfits, and I think at first they were probably like, "Why is this your body as a Wonderland guy, in 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 this line or whatever?" But I think over the years, I think I've engendered some trust that I can make a pop song, but I can also participate in a different world or a different culture without wanting to take it over or combine them. Like I think having separate planets of the things that I do have been yeah. really good for me yep. instead of one giant one thing. thing. Like the watch world is pretty separate from the music world. Yeah. And 
the comedy thing, well, I like, I like it that you'd have to want it to find it. To find it. You know, I, I, I like How that. did you get into the watches? What was that all about? What's your end game with that? I was just, it, I just wanted to like, just touch it for a second. It's nice. If there was a stress ball yeah. that created more stress. Oh. <laughs> this There's is, this little like stiff crunch in the middle. Yeah. Oh. I wonder if they've ever photographed. That's not food yeah, photography. No. Um, I think you either get watches or you don't. You yeah. either see it as a world on your wrist or right. you don't. I mean, I've given. How do you get into it though? Just not even the deepness. Of okay, it. so. Just like what was the beginning? And when, that's you're, all. when you're a kid growing up in the early 80s, a watch is a TV, a phone, I mean, it doesn't perform those tasks, yeah. but it's the only thing you have that's technical. Right. That you can, at night, lay in bed and press a button and it lights up under your covers. Yeah. That is what now people have their iPhone for. Yeah. And I remember like my first one was like an Armatron watch with C-3PO and R2-D2. Wow. And then you step up to like a Timex Iron Man and you get your first G-Shock, you're like, it lights up, it lights yeah. up. <laughs> uh, you play games like, can I guess what a minute is? <laughs> uh, you know, these because you're bored. You don't have yeah. these other things. And then uh, you just get used to the sense of a watch doing... I know it just tells time. I know that. But deep down inside it, I feel like there's this other level of preparedness or something. I just feel like I could get lost somewhere, but my watch would get me out of it, which wow. isn't true. Yeah, no, it's not. But there's this sense of reliance on it. It feels like... Uh, a tool. Right. It feels like a tool. Yeah. And uh, what was the, what, and I believe me, I know what feeling like, like a tool like is a like. Like a tool is like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. But what was the, what was the like, oh, I'm going to start. Was it just like tattoos? Like you get one and now you got to kind of. Yeah. Well, there's a bigger answer, which is the way my mind works is nothing is the end. Mm. Everything is the beginning of the next thing. Fuck. So the first thing I ever did when I got a little bit of money which no one expected I was going to get. Nobody ex oh. in my life expected I was going to get money from being a guitar right. player or a singer. It all makes sense looking backwards. Yeah. But where I was born and where I was from, yeah. parents of my friends were concerned yeah. for me wow. that I wasn't going to college. And that I had come into money before my friends graduated was very special yeah. to me in a certain way. And I wanted to buy a Rolex with my first publishing check. Yeah. And I bought a Rolex Explorer. To most people, they go, got it. It's that's the it, Cadillac of watches. We're done. And I went, well, what's this in relation to everything else? Yeah. And it was the door into understanding, well, yes, Rolex is a fine watch. Yeah. But you know there are smaller, more boutique, uh, more interesting. And you just keep getting. And I don't care about the watches as much as I care about the hunt. walking through the forest and right. going, yeah. wait, so it's what's that? The hunt. It's always about so. That. It's not necessarily the watch itself. It's that the watch represents waypoints yep. on the hunt, mm. and so that item always changes in terms of what the thing is. What that is. It's about the specifications. And yeah. Moving through Damn, and moving it's cool that you have that. So now, for me, discipline. Knives. 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 What? It just keeps going, man. What? It keeps <laughs> going i'm into knives yeah uh, yeah but now well wait a minute what's your reaction is why knives yeah why knives it's not about the knives it's about yeah. the hunt comparative research yeah well i have this one but i've seen this one online yeah, yeah. how does the one i own differ from this one uh-oh yeah well this one is half serrated Dang. well what about a what about one that has no serrations they're saying it's easier to sharpen well do i need one with no serrations Guess what? Google the name of the knife, serrated verse, boom, non-serrated. Wow. Let's read up on it. Wow. My brain won't stop. It, That's crazy. It, even if it is concerning itself with completely inconsequential stuff, yeah. it's just running. Dang. It's just running. It almost has to because you have all those different It has pockets. to go. I'm, it, I'm the same it, way. It has to things. go. It has it's to almost go. like that thing is like the centerpiece. But also when you can go back, you can look at things and it's immense times for you. They're like yeah. bookmarks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, I'm, and, and this time of the pandemic is very interesting yeah. in the way that people both consciously and unconsciously have adapted their thinking to, to suit themselves. Yeah. And I think, I think we're under a kind of pressure 
and a duress that we're only 30% aware of until right. this is over. Yeah, that's, and I, I feel like that because I agree with that. Yeah, you know, we're not. But we have no idea have what no the fuck is going on. What's it kind of feels very apocalyptic. And we're all, I don't know. And it also seems like people are consuming more than ever. Like, it's all there is, man. It's, yeah. it's, uh, I, I looked at it the other day, like, I made myself a little crazy yeah. as a vaccine for real insanity. Wow. So if a vaccine contains a little part yeah. of the virus, yeah. then the vaccine for losing your mind is allowing yourself, like if I were a kid and I were my own dad, yeah. I would say, you have a minute to swear as much as you want. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. That you can engender a kind of craziness that can just keep you sane. Right. And I'm not trying to be right. hyper poetic, but yeah, so no. for me, it's like, John, what do you need to do tonight so that you feel soothed? Right. A lot of times for me, it's like being a kid, man. Like, yeah. And I know I'm not a kid anymore. Same. But being Same. a kid yeah. is really important right yeah. now. Because the part of you that's scared is the kid. The kid is fucking scared. Yeah. And it doesn't get scary till the lights go out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And if it's the glow of your iPhone or your laptop while you look at an hour and a half video on surviving in the wilderness, yeah. it's not about how silly that would be to no, watch. No, it's just what it's doing for you. That mental vacation, that, it, it is, that recentering moment. It's keeping a kid quiet during a hostage standoff. Damn. It's giving a kid your car keys to play with while the bank manager and, wow. and the robber go have a talk in the back office and you go, you want to play with my keys? Yeah. Just to keep the kid from crying. Wow. And we are that kid. Yeah, we are. And you have to figure out a way to go, look, just whatever it takes to soothe yourself tonight. Yeah. And for me, I think a lot of people, I have to imagine that if I'm doing it, I'm not that special. Yeah, no. That a lot of other people are going, yeah, man, I'm really into this right now. I wouldn't have gotten into this. I wouldn't have gotten into yeah. this. And for me, I quiet the Self-awareness, though, is, is really strong. And I think it's a big thing that... I, maybe everyone could do a lot better with. Yeah, whatever your thing is, yeah. whatever your reward system is. Yeah. It's like, it's okay to trigger your reward system a little yeah. bit on things that your friends might not understand. Yeah. The difficult thing is that, and this is honest, I know it feels like it's salacious, but it's honest, that there's something built into this crisis that seems to be a very sneaky endorsement for drugs. Um, you know? Yeah. The, if you listen to the quiet enough, drugs sort of go, just letting you know, I'm right here. I'm right here. If it'd be right a night, you, you don't have to do anything tomorrow. No. You know, and I always said like growing wow. up, being an adult, not doing drugs is not a moralistic standpoint. Yeah. It's logistical. You go, I'm not against it yeah. on a spiritual level. I don't have the time to recover. I don't have yeah, the no. people around. I can't and, afford to get into this shit. Yeah, and now, <laughs> like, and yeah. now there's something very sinister about That's kind of like, oh, time. you have enough time. Yeah. I'm just letting you know, John, I'm in the closet. I'm old, I'm expired, but I'll still probably work. Yeah. Just letting Maybe you know. Better. And you have to go every night. Yeah. No, man. Yeah. Because now. How all... do you build that self-discipline? Like, where does that come in for you? Because I feel like it's something that you probably got within the past couple of years, or was it over? I've had it my whole life. I've yeah. had it my whole okay. life. Okay. I, okay. I, I, That's fire. I I'm I am holding the other end of the line yeah. that I'm hanging from. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know how uh, transposable that is to advice for other people, but yeah. I'm holding the line. Yeah. Because as an artist and a and a thinker, you're gonna go some places. You're yeah. gonna figure but there's also a kid from Connecticut who's That's deeply like, yeah, wait a second, deeply ashamed of his life path. Yeah. Deeply ashamed of it. And the left brain kid who's scared people are gonna be upset or scared he's gonna let himself down. Right. That I'm always doing this. Damn. So when it goes like, hey, it's day 12 and there's nothing to do, be a hell of a night yeah. to watch Mandalorian High. Yeah, and yeah. You, and you go like, no. Wow. And then you go like, mm -hmm, and you go, wait a minute. I'm not patting myself on the back. Yeah. Like I said. So it's a really tricky right, thing. Right. And you have to go, not tonight, every yeah. night. Normally you go, you don't even have the discussion. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I did, I, you, you don't have the recovery. We don't have the runway as adults anymore yeah. to take off for this stuff. And now it's like, oh, by the way, you've got a car and an abandoned airfield, but don't speed. <laughs> and you go, okay, I'm, a, I'm uh, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's the part of the pandemic that I think we're going to look at later on and go, oh my God, right. that was like, the, you know, that was, that, there, there was a lot of darkness around me and if, if the only, yeah. if the thing that staves that off is like, so a Damascus blade, 
that yeah. will rust quicker, yeah. but it's stronger, I see. As long as that that junk drawer in your kitchen yep. isn't getting It'll open touch, tonight, yeah. then, then, then that's a win. And, and I think we'll all have something that uh, we picked up we didn't know that we were picking up and yeah that got us and we have to we'll, we'll hammer that out later yeah but uh it's tricky man uh, it's tricky I, I don't think we know i think everything is pandemic related i think if you had a falling out with a friend about yeah. something completely separate it's, it's pandemic all related it right now okay. it's all pandemic related i think when this is over you'll go all of that was that yeah that's what i think that's what I, th I think you can see the tip of it right now, but it, it, it goes all the way down to who you wow. are and what you do to survive, you know? Holy shit. Anyway. But, but you said something that was in passing, but I think is really interesting. You're talking about escapism. Yeah, right? yeah. That I have a little box, mm. but what I do with my mind inside this box yep. Yep. is my interior decorating. Yeah. Right? Even though it's not on the walls, yep. I'm going to make this Thing, I, thing I've been given, I'm going to put as much dimension into it as I can. Yeah. That's why you are where you are. Yep. Because you are, I mean, that's the true nature of a creative. Yeah. It isn't like, oh, I want to change the color of this thing and get patted on the back. It is escapism. It's fantasy. Yeah. It, there are ways, I mean, we had different upbringings. I, they are relatively similar yeah. in that, and I grew up outside of the city in the suburbs. But my sense of the world was very similar. Similar, yeah. I want to go do this thing, and I'm being held back. And well, that's what no such thing is. Oh man, you know what I mean. And people just hear the catchy hook, but it's like you hear the song, and it's like no. But the parents are telling you this is a book. Yeah. Why is it the book? Yeah. You know what I mean? No, like no. I, I mean, I, the 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 best analogy, and I cried when I saw this movie because I felt like that was me, was Truman Show. Wow. Yeah. That major, you couldn't major. get off the island. There would be a Still fire. Still to this day, that is very relevant. There'd be a fire. I have chills while I say this. There would be a fire on the bridge to get off the island. Yep. And that feeling that not only are you working against the natural forces of the universe, yeah. you're working against the applied forces of the people around you. Yeah, everything that's set up. To make right. sure you can't take that oh bridge. My God. John, so where are you going to school? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, fully, and I go, and I, every year, Kerwin, I yeah. go, I'm not going to school. And you're like, what? I'm going to be a guitar player. <laughs> what do you mean? I already knew. <laughs> yeah. I, I fucking heard me. I heard me. I was in a bedroom the whole time. I heard it. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. And when I'm going to go do that. And I watched people get more upset every year when they found out I wasn't changing my mind. Wow. That's when I learned one of the worst things you can do is defer getting upset because you think the reality is going to change. Yeah. That's how you blow your yeah. stack is when, when you're a senior and you say, yeah. no, I'm not looking at colleges. Yeah. The table it's major. gets flipped it's major. because that person or those people didn't accept. Everyone is talking about it too. And then that's when you go, I'm getting off the island. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get off the island. Now I'll take you one step even further. Yeah. That, that is very sincere. And I hope people understand. Yes. That. Once you get off the island, you're so fucking mad that that happened to you. Yeah. That you're an asshole for a while. Yeah. Because you don't know who's against you. And you yeah. You're complete. Everything is. If you stand in a doorway like this, pressing as hard as you can against the door frame, and you step out, your arms are going to do it. <laughs> you are. You are so programmed That's to totally. combat to combat people who are pushing you back. Yeah. That when people finally go like this, you're still going like this. Damn. And that takes yeah. a couple oh of years shit. to yeah. not be an asshole. Yeah, yeah. You weren't an asshole in here. No. What you were doing was you spent so many years trying to get off the island. Yeah, and also proving that wrong. And, so and not in an aha, I told you, but it's like, no, look, you see? Like, and people this go like this. Here. They go like this, yeah. and you go, you don't get it. No, no. And they go, like, but what do you mean? We love your record. Yeah. And you yeah. go, that can't be enough. Yeah. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that, and yeah. I'm going to do that. And you keep trying and trying and trying. And then people go, we think you're a douchebag. And you go, no, 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 I'm going to fight it. I yeah. fought everything else, and I won. I fought everything else, yeah. and I won. Yeah. So I'm going to fight this, and I'm going to win. I'm going to fight this, and I'm going to win. I'm going to fight this, and I'm going to win. Yeah. And then you get so far off that you fought when you needed to fight. Now you don't, but now you're now fighting. Now you're fighting when you it's don't need to fight. It's like, no, fight. how is this part of myself coming out? Like, I, I so, know I'm supposed so to not be fighting. I knew what I was gonna be known for and not liked for, wow. and that wasn't even right. 
Yeah. I started being like, no, you're hating me for the wrong, hate me for these things. You're hate so me. self-aware that you're looking at all those, uh, it's the same hate with me for me. the face that yeah. looks cocky when it's not. <laughs> yeah. Hate me for that, yeah. right? Yeah. Hate me for the over-talking. Yeah. Hate me for the hyper-creativity. Yeah. Hate me for being terrible in yeah. group work because I go, oh, you guys yeah. stand over there and I'll do it, Yeah. you know? But the idea of being hated for this other guy that was a sympathetic result of fighting to keep the real guy alive. Yeah. Then I then I went to black. Oh. Uh. And then I fired it back up again slowly. Yeah. And that's where I became a really happy, excitable, sweet. I'm I'm not attacked. Yeah. I wasn't being attacked. No. But I was punching back. You were punching and back. And if you're punching back at people who didn't hit you, you're the aggressor. Dude. And that really took me years and years and years and years to get right. And um, that was, and, and I feel like maybe that same thing was, I don't think you punched back as hard, no, but you I went, guess. I'm gonna make the world that I want to dream in. 100%. I'm gonna make the world I wanna dream in and I'm gonna be the person yeah. in that dream that I wanna be Dude. and location won't be specific. Yeah. Because yeah. I can't trust location. Yeah. I don't trust my location, but I trust my mind. And I'm going to soothe myself. I'm going to entertain myself. Yeah. I'm going to dream things up. And then you get to a point where these things that were your escapist survival fantasy become things other people can watch. Yeah. And wear. Yeah, that is true. And they, and they yeah. find something in it. Damn. When you wore the headdress, the yeah. headpiece, when, when, you, when, when I first got out of the car, I went, two things. I went, Ah, of course. And then I went, that's fucking cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll never buy that thing, but yeah. I'll, I'll guarantee you I'll do something tomorrow. Oh, that's cool. That is the equivalent of that. But for you. We need to be reminded that yeah, we can. That's nice. And maybe that's that the thing you do. Yeah. Is remind people you can. that that's on the menu. Yeah. Which is the way I feel actually when I come back from Japan. Yeah. When I go to Tokyo, I, I come back, I go, I'm rocking Goro's chains, full Goro's yeah. chains. <laughs> I'm going to wear uh, matching tops and bottoms. Yeah. I'm going to wear my headphones around my neck. Wow. I'm going to have carabiners like like crazy, I'm gonna put patches on things, and then you get back to the States. And yeah. Like, no, you're not, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, oh. <laughs> Cause people are like, what's that? And you go, you're right. right. You're right. Oh. Yeah. The one thing I don't tolerate is reality distortion. Mm. You can argue with me reality. I will fight you, it'll be great. I'll stay yeah. in the room. But I'll it better stay. be all facts. If you, if you try to distort reality, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. That, that, that includes all of the flavors of gaslighting, all, yeah, you know, it, projecting. It goes in every way and it goes back to that, you know, the thing, but it's just like the reaction and it all, it's the be, same calculation. Beware other people, be, beware people telling you what other people are thinking about you. Oh, Damn. gone. Damn. Gone. I'm gone. Wow. Reality distortion, I'm out. Wow. We can, anything in reality, uh, we'll, let's dance. I'll stay in the room. We will, yeah. we can, we can go to bed as mad as you possibly can be. Yeah. But as soon as you distort reality, I can't stay. I get queasy. Wow. I get queasy, man. Like, I couldn't do it. Yeah. That's all I ask. Damn. Just stay in the reality, and we can, we can have ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs. But, you know, nobody likes it, you know. Yeah. It's like, oh, shit. You know, that triangulation like that is that we, no. we, can't, we can't do it. Other people think it, too, Kerwin. Yeah. It's not just me, Kerwin. It's not just me. Other people think this, too. <laughs> Isn't that the worst? That's weird. It's the yeah, fucking it's, worst. It's, man. That's like one of the. That's a classic. Though at the same time, it's the worst. It's I, not just me. I leave. Not even. They don't say who the people. I can't. No, I'm not gonna say. No, right, right, right. I don't want to. No, I, I wouldn't. Feel, I don't want to put them. I just, comfortable. I'm just saying. I'm not the only one who feels like this. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be right of me. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah, I don't. I wouldn't even. Yeah. We leave out of like, uh, like nope. I don't. I can't even think straight before yeah, I'm no. in the car. I'm like, oh, I'm driving. Yeah. Oh, I'm in the car. I'm headed home. How do you feel about Christmas? Like honestly, and I. I that's like what people really want to know. I think it is really what, <laughs> what people want to know. <laughs> um, Christmas is a wonderful holiday. Yeah. And I believe it's an elective holiday each year. Right. Is St. Patrick's Day a Christmas song? Is what I'm asking. St. Patrick's Day is a holiday song. But it's very much about, well, you know, before we had a phrase, cuffing season. Cuffing season, yeah. 
there was a song called St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, yeah. Which was about cuffing season. Yeah. Right? Which was, you're locked in. It's not even really about lo loving this person. It's like, no. there's no way we can there's, get out yeah, of it. No, no. Oh, but I do say we'll be safe till St. Patrick's Day. We'll be safe till St. Patrick's Day. So I guess, Day. In, I guess the writer is uh, out, out of his league a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going, going. Well, at least I get her until yeah, it's the same patch. Well, there, I would say I would say there's job security in the holidays. Okay, okay. I would say the holidays you have job security. Right, right. Because the, the, again, it's too powerful a substance. It's just a bunch of electricity that you can clamp onto anything. Yeah. And if you clamp Christmas electricity onto a breakup, it, you, both people get destroyed. Yeah. So I think Christmas is devastatingly sad, and nobody will admit it. Right. I think have yourself a merry little Christmas is sarcastic. Yeah. It's not about it, having a merry little Christmas. No. It's about having the worst fucking Christmas of your life. And, and by the time you're out of the, the ER, and your arm is broken, and you're on meds, and your Christmas tree is flickering, it's this big. And you go to the Dwayne Reed, and they're playing that. Yourself a merry little Christmas. It's like this. Yeah. Damn. That's not about having a merry Christmas. No. That's about having a terribly sad Christmas, and the song is ironic. That's right. honest to God what I think. Okay, when I was younger, I remember I don't I was like maybe like twenty or something. Mm -hmm. And I had stayed up all night and there was this window from six AM to ten AM where you're just it's the best version of yourself, but you're extremely delirious. Yes. There was one morning, it was maybe like twenty five degrees in New York. And it's six in the morning, and I'm just running downtown with the speaker playing Mr. Blue Sky, mm -hmm. saying good morning to everyone. There's a homeless man crying. Everyone's freaking out. And where do you pick up Mr. Blue Sky in your life and times? Like, what do you mean where I pick like, up? Like, where, where do you find Mr. Blue Sky? Like, where, does, where, do, where in your life does Mr. Blue Sky make its entrance? Yeah. I definitely was in a movie or in a... Yeah. It, it didn't come in naturally. I, mean, I got to know what that song is. Well, it's just that... Dun, 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 right. dun, 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 <laughs> Good morning! Oh, my God! It's a great day! Let's go! So you're aware you're alive. Yeah. You're aware you're on a ride. Yes. And you're aware other people are not aware they're on a ride. Yes. And you would like your lasting legacy to be reminding people that they're on the ride. Yeah. Yes, man. Fully. Yes. So, but that's how I feel about Christmas sometimes. And it's like sometimes going with it is almost better than not. I agree with you. I'm not against Christmas. For those times. I know for me personally, following Christmas. I feel you. Would take Heavy. me into a dark alley. Yeah, yeah no, Christmas. no. Because I see that part. Intensely. I know, I know what you're Christmas talking about. would roll me this yeah. year. And sometimes I feel like, well, things that me and you have to do is kind of like forgoing whatever you know and doing what you know people need. I've, yeah, well, if I had people in my life, right. which I don't, oh. and I've been paused that way. Right. The pandemic paused my life in its current state, which yes. is uh, a guy buying knives, supplanting a need for love with information. So you would say you're still looking for love. Oh, God, yes. I didn't know that. See, people say this, and that you haven't, but the overall idea that people are surprised yeah. that I have not foregone the idea of love is like it hurts me to the oh. core because I don't think I've ever done or said anything no, that to support the idea that no. I find the construct of love to just be a, some sort of lie that I yeah. want to spend the rest of my life proving doesn't exist. I want it. I'm sure I'm going to get it. Yeah. It's um, not easy to find. It's not easy to find. And the older you get, the more you kind of miss the natural traction. Right, not attraction, happening, yeah. but this sort of natural... But also, yeah, the more you become older in your career as well. There's tons of reasons why it gets harder, but yeah. why you become more selective. Right. And when you're older, everyone you see... Can I ask how old you are? Yeah, I'm 25. Am 25. I 20? 20, 25, yes. 25. Uh, century. People just naturally, out of the law of averages, become younger. Yeah. And you go, so now I'm in between a young girl and her mother's age. Right. So I'm stuck between 24 and like 50. Mm. And I don't, so that's just a harder right. thing to manage. Uh, yeah. I don't, it, um, if you go out to dinner, People, women stop grouping together at tables after about 30. Yeah. So any table of right. women, yeah. it's usually in their 20s. Yeah. That's when they're still packing like that. Yeah. I'm still me. I, have a, I, I sort of live like a divorced man. 
Yeah, that's what it seems like. I live like a divorced man. Yeah, it, without it, it the looks pain, like that. Yeah, without the pain of uh, of of a divorce. Damn. So I have all the loneliness of a divorced man oh. living alone, but I have the excitement of a bachelor, and the dwindling opportunities of a man in, nearing his mid forties. <gasps> and for the first time in my life, I'm learning this thing. And you, you'll watch this back ten years, fifteen years from now. And go, he was right. Yeah. I'm learning to look at pretty girls. Right. And say to myself, stop it. Wow. Stop it. Think about this. If I haven't had a marriage and a divorce that would, that would really kind of telegraph to me that yeah. I am now past this kind of prime, right. my heart still feels like, well, I haven't found the person yet, yeah. so I'm going to keep looking for the person. But every year you don't find the person, it becomes a little stranger yeah. and a little bit more wishful thinking to be engaging with people who are in their early 20s. So I'll look at a picture of someone who, is all, who makes my heart go pitter-patter, right, right. and I go, stop it. Yeah, yeah. And for the first time in my life, I have to go, you're right. You have huh. to stop it. Because my, my heart goes, man. Yeah. <laughs> and you go, John, leave her alone. Yeah. Not, yeah. not leave her alone as in stop, but just don't even don't begin. Because yeah. my brain doesn't know yeah. that the rest of me is getting older. So I'm, I, I have the mind and the heart of a dad, Yeah. but I'm going to have to be younger to be able to become a dad. So I'm a little bit over-evolved and I have to unevolve to be able to go out and meet people. And then the pandemic came by yep. and was really like sweetening the deal on never meeting anybody. Yeah. So now I go, like, I'm so psyched to go home into my world right. and, and execute everything I want, which is gonna be very difficult when it comes time to get to know someone again, yeah, because someone's going to say a thought that I didn't have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have yeah. a girlfriend or a boyfriend? Or... Uh, uh, Aaron, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Right. yeah. So how does this work? You are ex extremely intelligent. I'm sure you must be as well. Yeah. Do you ever find that in your creative life, it's made you uh, uh, kind of a tyrant when it comes to ideas yeah. and that compromising in a relationship is difficult because you don't compromise in your art. That happens almost all the time. So yeah. our, our relationship is like really crazy because we, well, she, she manages me, but we also work very hand in hand on everything. So there's like who I'm being or like what I'm doing, but I'm also behind that kind of like tweaking it. And um, we just we just recently had a complete blowout and like, like separated and it was messy and it was crazy and it was like recentering and kind of putting we're still putting those pieces back together Got it. and going through that are you good at compromise in relationship when you are, are spending most of the day in the driver's seat alone as a creative i think i think it gets it gets fuzzy sometimes i think i, I think sometimes i am but i like i there's a lot of days where i'm very grateful that i'm not doing what she's doing you know what I mean? Because I know right. how meticulous it is or like how much my world is her world. You know what it feels like to me sometimes? It's like asking someone else while I'm sitting here, point to the shake and point to the coffee. And I'm like, that's the shake and that's the yeah. coffee. And having someone else go, and I go, <laughs> that's the shake and that's the coffee. And they go, I'm just thinking. Yeah, yeah. Let me just, let yeah. me just have a moment. Yeah. And you have to learn to go, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And by the way, yep. that's the shake <laughs> and that's the coffee. Yeah, yeah, that's literally, we have so many of those moments. It's crazy. That is what I'm yep. told yep. it's like. Yeah. And everything else in my life <laughs> is trained to go like and this. No one, yeah. Shake, coffee, next. Yeah. yeah. Chili dog, shake, coffee, next. Yeah. And it's not that at all. And it's not that it's at not all. It's not that at all. And I have to learn, and again, the pandemic was sent to me by the god of loneliness, who goes, no, we want him on our side. We <laughs> never want him to ever meet somebody. Right, right. Um, it, 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 that's very difficult for me, and I'm ready. I, I, I have these brain farts sometimes that look like, that look like they're, that they're, they're meant to, I just have brain farts, and like, right. you know, I don't, I don't like being held to account for it, but you have to be held to yeah. account for it. So. Okay, what's your opinion on therapy? For me, I think it's a complete sham. But then I also think it's like Christmas, that for like, oh, that's a great analogy. Yeah, yeah. Well, 
It's whether your heart's open to it. Yep. It's whether you need it yeah. on any given moment. Right. Whether you buy into it and who's throwing the party. I would take people, specifically like me and you, are just very, not vulnerable, yeah, kind of vulnerable. We'll just say, like say anything just out loud. Yes. To any of our close friends that we do have. I've learned to try not to say things because they're an interesting idea if they don't, if I don't mean them. Yeah, and if they don't stick. Well, I, I'm not gonna wear the sweater, but I stitched it. And it's like, <laughs> no, you have, you, you, you got, even around my friends now, it's yeah. like, a cool idea is cool, but if you don't mean it, right. I've learned, I've had to learn like, well, no, right. I just made it to make it. Right, right. I mean, look, it, it, yeah. you, I mean, going down for a thing you didn't mean is no way to live. Yeah. Um, Oh, sorry. You have tried therapy. Then, I did. Right? Yeah. Does that suggest there is a need for therapy? Do you believe there's a need for it? I just wanted to try it. Okay. You know, I just wanted to try. I think everyone's feeling bumped, and you know what I mean. Well, you tried it for 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 the for COVID. Yeah, I I, I tried it for. Well, no. Well, during oh me and Aaron's fallout. Yeah. Therapy. This is very recent. Oh, you went to couples. Therapy. Oh no, we didn't even we didn't do couples therapy yet. No, this was just personal. Got. It. And this guy had all these accolades and all these like. You know, the Columbia University, the boom, boom, boom. And we talk, and I'm just like, I kind of can create any version of myself for this guy, one. Uh, two, uh. two, even if I tell him exactly, you know, I, because I, I, I was talking to him very honestly. Yeah. I know, I They're kind of just like trying to shift you in these places, and I do that already by myself and how I think. And then, and then, so then I'm just like, wouldn't it be better if there was like a therapy that was kind of like a boot camp where the motherfucker was just telling you what to do? And he was like, dude, you just got to do this more. That's it. That's what you came here for. You Goodbye. said something monumental right now. You said, I can pretty much think anything. I don't want to put words in your mouth. What were the words? No, no, say what you thought. I think you said, I can pretty much think anything I want to think. Yeah, I get to that conclusion by myself. I, I, I do these like self, uh, uh, you know, inward things where you're thinking about, well, who is Kerwin and what's inside and, and Man, what makes me happy? And I, I know those Your things. blessing and your curse. Yeah. Is that you are mostly ideas. Yep. You're I said to my therapist one time, yeah. I'm not really a person. <laughs> I'm more <laughs> just a collection of a bunch of ideas. Yeah, yeah. And then the person emerged. Yeah. Not to say that yours hasn't. No, no. And life hit it on the head. became That's, yeah. like, I instantly, be, I was, I was instantly like, man, I never want to check out of this place. Yeah. As soon as the person fused with all of the ideas, bro, I went, I never want to fucking die now. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. And I look back at pictures of myself with all of this innate slenderness. Yeah. This metabolism. Yeah. A jawline not worth fretting about. And I went, I wasn't in there yeah. to look around. I was just running ideas, man. I was just running yeah, that's ideas. that's all it was. And I think at your age, just run ideas. Just run them. Just fucking run ideas. It's crazy. And when you go into therapy, there's something about it that seems a little uh, corny at best and intellectually offensive. Yeah, a about little bit, yeah. having to talk about these things. Yeah. Because you can make yourself think anything you want to think. There was a moment in the session where I couldn't think of anything else to talk about, and we still had like 40, 30 minutes left. You know why? Because you're a showrunner. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a showrunner. Yeah. <laughs> and you have a run of show. Yeah. When you go to therapy and you feel great because you're trying to fucking entertain the therapist. Dude. You can't even oh, stop oh, for a second. That's fully what it was. And you feel ashamed that yeah. you came into his office yeah. for the Kerwin Frost one-man show without a run of show, and there's 40 minutes left? There was 40 minutes left, and I just like saw him just get quiet, and then there was more time, and he was like, well, do you just want to do meditation? And I was like, uh, why am I paying you for, you no. motherfucker? There's... No, no, no. It's a little bit of that, but it's all, you felt like you let, you wanted to give a performance and but you didn't have a second no, guess. You didn't have a second guess. No, no, there wasn't a second guess. You musical guest bailed. You didn't have a third segment. No, no, there wasn't. No, no. Sometimes good stuff comes out yeah. like that, but I'm telling you, 
I'll say to my therapist now, like, I really feel like I'm giving it to you today. This is yeah, great. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> I just get super see something, say something. Yeah, because in the beginning of it, I'm like, oh, yeah, well, there was this. Because I'm like, oh, these are cool things to talk. And then I'm just like, wow, okay, that, well, that's it. I, I've, I really feel like I understand you. Wow, thank I you. really understand the moving parts. You are hyper creative, and the person sometimes gets wedged out of the deal. Yeah. But I'm also going to say, kind of doesn't matter right now. Except in your relations slash relationships. Yeah. Be the one, just keep going until you hit the wall. Okay. Keep going until the idea doesn't work anymore. Right, right, right. The idea of Kerwin Frost is still a heavy hitter. Yeah. So, good and bad is all working. Right. When I have a panic attack, I know a song's coming. Yeah. I've done this so long right. that while I'm eating a Xanax and, you know what to play. and sitting on the toilet, it's the same. Yeah, I, I, go, I know what to play. Well, it's going to be song time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, they all, it, it's yeah. until you go, okay, I've, I've checked out what this thing can do. Yeah. And, and I know the I'm ideas really are great. In. I want to know where the person is. And again, yeah. I'm not saying there's no person in there, but I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm saying it might matter more that the ideas come out now. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go find the person. Yeah. <laughs> here's, here's the greatest scenario. Yes. You get born. Right. You get loved enough, but you also get left alone and shaken up and disturbed. Yeah. You find a thing to help survive that becomes the thing you're known for. Right. It metastasizes as you become more famous. Yeah. You get paid. People love you, but the beast keeps growing. Yep. You take the money that you've been paid yep. for the thing the beast did. Yes. Go to a therapist and you say, get the beast out of me, but keep the rest. <laughs> now, you've already made the money from, from the beast. Three hundred twenty five dollars on the beast. It's, it's never three hundred and twenty five dollars a pop? Yeah. You've got the money because the beast helped you get the you no. I want you to slay the beast, but I want you to keep all the rest of it that yeah. I got. And you can do that. So That's now crazy. I have all of the power that I had as a writer and a creative yeah. when I was 24 and I have next to none of the trauma. And I had the trauma, like I had the trauma. Right. And I don't have the trauma anymore, which is why I immediately go like, oh, I never want to have to go. Yeah. I never want, I just want to keep doing this. Were those moments like stop this train and like home life? Oh yeah, man. Stop this train is, yeah. is, uh, Stop This Train really came from an era of my life that I was the most frightened and saddened by, which yeah. was, at 25, I think you still have access to all your memories. Yeah. Uh, I, for me, it's a little blurry. Really? Well, th think about the times. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> it, it probably was easier when you but were But the important five. ones, you yeah, know, the being important a kid, ones, yeah. what it felt so like. That, yeah. And every Christmas that comes by yeah. reminds you of being six. Yeah. And then at a certain number of years behind you, certain links come up error 404. Yeah. On, on feelings you're trying to go yeah. to. Yeah. And you go, I can't, oh, I can't find it. Yeah, I no. can't rub my hand across the rug of yeah. my childhood home in my hand. No, I've spoken to childhood friends and just said, like, what was I like when... Imagine know. a memory and now it looks like this. And it starts to look like this. Yeah. And you go... It's not it wasn't just like this, but I can't tell you what was here. Yeah. That's sad, man. You go, yeah. I uh, really needed all these things. And you hear, have yourself a And you go, I, there was something here. And it starts, it starts going like this. And you start going, fuck. It was, there was food here. Yeah. And that's, that's what it felt like. And Stop This Train was like, no, 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 no. Don't take this away. Yeah. Don't take that away. And don't take that away. I've already... No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. And I remember back when I used to drink, I would get drunk, and the only thing I want to do is lay on a bed, kind of like do that super heavy, I'm drunk breathing. Yeah. And think about time travel. Wow. It's not useful. It's not useful yeah, to no. dream of ways to go back. No. Fuck, it's living in the past. But, but it's helpful for it a is. minute until you it's go, mood okay, I got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, but it's also, it's like we don't talk about how insane it is that you have been... You specifically have been in this entire shift of all these like important periods of music and time and culture, yeah. and yeah. why don't we talk about that? You know, what I mean? it's like, what, um, you know what I mean? I think the part of what makes it interesting also makes it hard to uh, sort of collect into one thought. Yeah, and those who are watching can sort of go like, "Oh, there's a Forrest Gump like 
aspect. To yeah, that. there is. And yeah. It's like the older I get, man, the more memories and photos of things become like, like, I just want to do this. Yeah. Like, I saw a video of myself playing with Clapton the other night. Right. And I went, Crazy. this is, this is like to be held yeah. on to like this. Yeah, if I could frame this video. Yeah, I mean, there, there's, there's, right. Yeah. You want to frame yeah. these, the you video. want to frame yeah. the video. Yeah. And, and after the thing is done, after the song is out or the tour yeah. is done, right. after you're worried and maybe you succeeded and maybe you didn't and maybe you came somewhere in the middle, there's a wonderful thing that happens many years later where you go, oh, I have that to my name. Yeah. There's a life beyond the release week of a thing. Yeah. If more people could understand. It doesn't matter about your release week. No, it's almost a worse to listen it to some during the release week. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's what people think about it down the line. And, and I have been uncool. Yeah. I have been cool. cool. I will be uncool yeah. again. I might be cool again. And if you just keep doing your thing, yeah. the winds keep going like this and you just hold still and just fly through it. Wow. And for me now, I don't, nothing is win or lose anymore. No. Right? Like for better and for worse. I've had At this my ups, point, yeah. No. I've had my downs. I've had regrets. I have things I can't even take credit for that yeah. went so well. Yeah. And that's kind of situated. And now it's like, okay. okay. Now what are you gonna do? Yeah, and that stuff is really fun because I can make a record. You can go any that's direction. That's only made for being great. It's not made to make you think a thing. No, I don't go. Oh boy, I hope the guest list gets bigger this tour. Yeah, and yeah. by the way, every artist should have those tours. Yeah, like who's on the guest list in LA? I just go. I can't win any more love, and I can't lose any more. Yeah, love. I'm aware of how true love is. Right. When it comes to fan love, or and I'm aware of how untrue love is or how untrue hate is or how true it so now just make the thing right make it as great as you can make it and that's yeah. the fun part for me is listening back to this record and going like i don't know if it's cool right. but i think this is really good good yeah that's where you should be. you know i, I like that and, I, and I, I i see i think give so. yourself that thank you yeah i see people uh and i get it and i don't know that they should change but who are looking at fire as a metric right 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 Trying to make someone go, that's fire, yeah. is a different part of the brain than that's great. Fire is a very instant, it's a rapid test. <laughs> fire is your first impression. Yeah, it's like immediately when it makes you feel fire. Fire. Right. It's just like, whoa. But I don't know that everything that is fire yeah. is ultimately good. Mm. Fire just means, whoa. Yeah. And you can do that now technologically where you can make a sound yep. grab you like that. Yep. Whoa, that's fire. Yeah. But I don't know that you should be trying to only make fire. fire. Yeah, fire. The world needs Sour Patch Kids. Yeah. And the world needs a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay. And I'm fine being PBJ, baby. You ever walk into your house, right? You're like, all right, I'm going to make a new post on my Instagram. And then you just want to like just post a photo of your foot. Yeah. Have I ever wanted to? Yeah. Like just completely handle your Instagram like you're not John Mayer. No, um, because I'm aware of what a picture of something else could have done. Right, right, okay. And we live in a very comparative... Oh, that's so crazy. So we live in a very comparative world. Yeah. The comparative reasoning is helpful sometimes and extremely unhelpful other times. Yeah. So a post of my foot right. in today's thinking would be a slap in the face to other posts more important than a uh, post of my foot. Okay, okay, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes complete sense. And if I've just learned now that my posting something has a pretty good line of credit with people looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to conserve the energy yeah. of, of sending a message so that when I send a message, it's more seen and, and taken in. Yeah. A picture of my foot I would have a hard time leaving up. Damn. Be but a, it would be a tempus. Great, great tie-in if this makes the yeah. If this makes the edit, then yeah. a picture of my that's how my brain works. Right. I already went. You're already how thinking does about the, the edit, John. The foot work? Oh, listen, Jesus I do Christ. interviews with people and I'm already reading it while I'm talking to people. <laughs> this is not right. I'm as I'm talking to you, I I'm like, that'll make it. Yeah. That one, what do you think it does to a moment? Yeah, Jesus Christ. I'll be singing a vocal. That happens to me too. Oh, that line sucked. Yeah. Well, how uh, can I sing the next line uh, if I'm already coming down to myself for the line I just sang? God damn it. But you're no bullshit. I'm not, I'm not, it, it would have been easy 
for someone as outgoing as yourself yeah. to delude people into thinking that you had something. Right. But you have a very, very, very complex mind. Oh, thank you. Very complex mind. Yeah. In a way that I really like because it means the external stuff is stemming out, radiating out from the internal. Yeah. It's not the external as a way to trigger something. Internal, no, it's not. Which you see a lot of the time, and that's okay too. Maybe if I get crazy enough, the creativity will come on the heels of that. Oh. The idea of like, well, if all geniuses are mad, maybe I have to get mad to become a genius. But it doesn't really go that way. No. So it's nice to know that the things that other people find eccentric about you are natural and sympathetic to the real thing inside you, which is that you are just very, very attuned to all of your senses. Yeah, thank you. you know? Yeah, okay, live albums. Are we gonna get any live albums? I think live albums uh, are made every night. Okay, I like them personally because of the, the way you carry the songs differently when you perform them. I, I mean that they're made every night by people on their iPhones at the concert. Ah, at, 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 so right, and when you, you were making them, they, uh, yeah. yeah when, was, when you're making a live album 20 years ago, that uh, was the yeah. way people heard you live. Right, and now, I didn't think uh, of that. You just go check it out. Uh -huh. It would just be a better quality sounding thing that you'd have to wait right. a year for. Yeah. But okay. I think YouTube is the new kind of live album. I love what YouTube has done, yeah. where it's allowed people to learn how to play guitar. Or right. Listen, you can catch up on it's, everything I've ever done in a month on YouTube. Okay, damn. All right, all right. I feel like I want to ask you questions. Yeah, I'll ask. Do you get recognized when you walk around the street? I do. Do people who recognize you know who you are? Is it, are, is it I know you and I don't know where? Or does the name, is the name? It's the name, it's the name. And, and I uh, have this weird thing with it because I super appreciate it. And it went so long in my life being like, hey guys. Right, right. right. You know what I mean? Right. But I, it, I think the other day I was at Home Depot buying a plunger. <laughs> and this guy is like, yo, Kerwin, like, let, let me play you my music. And I was like, I'm not even that guy. I'm not the mixtape guy. But also, that's never worked ever. But also, I'm, right. I'm buying a plunger at 10 p.m. Right. at Home Depot. Right. It's just, you, how did you play it on? Uh, I was just nice. It was, I, you can't, because this is the thing. It's like, uh, someone came up to me yesterday uh, when, when we were walking downtown. Or, or no, it was by Korea, by Koreatown. And he said, you're Kerwin, and, and me and Aaron are just walking, and you know, we're, we're going to where we're going. We're not stopping around here. <laughs> but the kid, he had this look in his eyes, you know, and I, I know that he kind of needed that. And we, we spoke for a second, and he, he had tagged me in this post after, and it was like, you know, this just kind of saved my life, this moment. And I was just like, that's right. really crazy that we're able to kind of just add any of that kind of value. And it's perilous. I know. And then it's like, this isn't about you anymore. You know what I mean? It's like, but also that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's like you bring joy and you bring I, I always this feeling like, people. I always called it like the magic worked more than you wanted it to that yeah. day. Yeah, and, and for that, that you be grateful. And, right. and, 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 no, but it's true. You don't. I appreciate it because I, I do, but I do have those moments where I'm like, come on. It's great. It's a, it's a fantastic <laughs> bit of magic. Not the bathroom dap up. Yo, no, <laughs> it's fantastic. At its core, it's genius, right? Yeah. It's like you're, it's like the, the idea makes no sense. Right? No. We're going to replicate you a billion times. Yeah. Once for a billion people, right? Yeah. And then a billion people are going to all want to tell you that they like what you do. Yeah. It's going to blow you up. So the current makes no sense. It's like, no. here's this circuit that I built. Mm -hmm. Here's the power source, and it's going to get sent out to yeah. a million people. But they can also flip it and send a million volts back this way and blow out the power. So it's very... You know what's well. crazy? When you are ready to like open up to that one kid that comes up to you, that's the kid that just wants a photo and to walk away. Oh, that's great. It's, that's <laughs> it's, so, it's so great in ways that I know are perverse, yeah. but, but, but the system is so flawed yeah. but great but yeah. awesome so i love the connection that i have yeah i even feel weird saying fans i yeah. just i just go like it's other not, people yeah. in the world who dig what i do right yeah because it's but but that's but, i see myself as just a fan but the reason the reason that we're not in my house is because i just need like I just need three walls. Yeah. All I need is three walls right. that no one has seen before. Yeah. Or understands the dimension of. I don't understand celebrities who are like, welcome to my house. I'm like, right. you are naked here. That's, yeah, there's like. I mean, I have, I have 
this beautiful little tiny place in Montana, and it's like, not little tiny, but it's not yeah. what you think when I yes. say a place in Montana. And there's this view over the water, oh. and when people come, I go, you just can't take a picture of Great. this. Oh, that's nice. It's the only thing I have wow. is this one view that goes over the Yellowstone yeah. River, and if I ever saw that view on Instagram Explore page, I would cry. Wow. I just go, I just want this. After yeah. that, it's like, it's all a result of this crazy, insane, like senseless level of math, which is we're going to take all these people who love what you do and we're going to make, we're going to change your life because of the ability to get all this. You're, you're going to just fire off your synapses to all these people. Yeah. But they're also, you're also only one of you. Yeah. There's, there's only no one of Kerwin you. There's no Kerwin Frost customer no. service department. I think I pretend like I'm other Kerwins and it's not. No, it's there's the same, no. no. You are, it, it is like having... Imagine if Coca-Cola had one customer what? service guy. Yeah. yeah bring it to me. I'm Pete from Coca-Cola. You got an yeah. issue? You have a bottling issue in Chile? Oh Come to God. me, Pete. I'm the Pete only. Pete. So there's a, there's, there's a giant division. But when it comes time to talk to the, you're the only guy. Yeah. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because I've been in my house for six months. I think yes. it's hilarious right now. No, it is. It really is. Okay. So just for fun, you're at Home Depot. Let's role play this. I've seen you have a plunger in your hand. Right. You're way too embarrassed to tell me that it's for the toilet. Yeah. Make up a lie right now. What's the plunger for? I just thought it looked cool. Actually, it does look cool. I, uh, what aisle are they in? <laughs> are you, are you going to start like making a plunger thing? <laughs> no, no, no. I was just getting one. I thought it looked cool. I kind of want a plunger too now. Oh. That, that would be your level of influence. Oh. If I saw you and you said, I got a plunger. Oh, that would be so nice. Just because I think it's really cool and I want one, I'd yeah. be like... What does he know about plungers that yeah. I don't? Yeah, yeah. That's influence. Wow. Have you ever have you ever seen something you liked? I like those though. I, I would love for someone to run up to me and just ask me for advice on one thing that just like immediately came to their head. Right. That yeah. that you would like more than wanting to, them to, wanting to play you their song. Yeah, yeah well, get, they're, they're playing the song. They know that's not gonna go yeah, anywhere, yeah, yeah, but yeah, they I just, you know just what? like playing hit the me song, with something different. Playing the song doesn't reference your humanity in it. Yeah, no. Um have you ever been into something? Like really, you, you kind of got into something and you went, I better buy three of these before I tell people that I'm into this. So yeah. that I can still get these if one of these. Yes, works. yeah, that's me all the time with everything. So before you even share that's the thing. That's I bought five of these hats the first time I bought the top. That's the kind of interview <laughs> shit that I live for. You've just admitted that there's five of those because you know it's gonna start a thing and you wanna be able to have access to the sales one. So you're stockpiling things before you show them to the world. I did that with the like, over the tops too. <laughs> buying multiples yeah. so that if, and of course, when they become popular, yeah. you already have enough so that you don't have to go on eBay yeah. and find that they've gone up 130% because of you. So you learned the hard way. Yeah. And from now on, you buy everything you want to buy of that thing you love before you go, before you put people onto yeah. it. Yeah. It's crazy. That's fucking psycho. You're like, you're like a film department with a costume. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we have five of these. Should anything happen to them in filming? That's incredible. Oh I do that with God. guitar pedals. Yeah. So if, if I find a guitar pedal I really like, and I know I'm going to go on tour or people are going to see me use it. I yeah. buy three or four more of them because I don't want to pay more for them once wow. people go, well, that's the guitar pedal that's is using? Lot. So I'll be like, I'll get four of those. Wow. Then I'll take it on tour. That's crazy. You're aware of yeah. the impact. Yeah, you know what's going to happen. So could I play you a hip-hop song that I wrote? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would always be my question. Would he do yeah. it for me? Yeah, oh my God. Um, who would be... Uh, who would you be the most starstruck if you met? Starstruck. Uh, like tummy ache, sort of like can't think straight, can't go back to your task the way you the way you left it when this person walked in. Fuck. Uh, what kind of meeting is it? Like, are we like talking and like like what's the? They're popping. They're they're. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, who's that for you? Um, the, the, now you can see it wasn't a setup because I had a question. Yeah. Sometimes people ask a question to someone because they want to be the one to answer right. once it comes back to them. Where do you most want to go these holidays? Right, right. It's like, well, I have my answer. Uh, the person who could walk in a room and make things go like that? Eddie Vedder, man. 
Eddie Vedder. Yeah, he could shake. He could, that, 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 yeah, I think Eddie Vedder would make me go. Wow. And I met him before, but I still go like, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I guess if you use that. There are people that have that effect. Who's the person who young Kerwin is so deep in the water table that seeing them would, would, would shake you in a way you're not even, adult Kerwin isn't prepared to brace himself for. Fuck, I don't even know anymore. Have you met everyone that you've wanted to? Huh? You've done a lot of them, so it's weird. Yeah, I've done a lot, so it's weird. So I, I don't know, I feel like Bjork? Bjork. Yeah, that's I mean, cool. She would shake the room, she would yes. shake the table a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell is in her brain? Right. That's what? the right, oh, okay, okay, check it out. That's the right fame. Yeah. The right fame is not, oh, I've seen him in the box. Yeah, yeah. And now he's here. Right. The right fame is, what did he think today? Yeah. When I saw, the first time I ever saw Paul McCartney, I didn't think there is the guy from the thing. I thought about his eyeballs. Wow. And what they had seen. And his yeah. ears and what they had heard. Yeah, yeah. And his thoughts that day. Yeah. What must, and what's the song in his head now? Yeah. That I don't know yet. It's and crazy. that is when I went, that's more interesting to me than yeah, I know okay. you from the thing. All right, so that's nice like, to know. There are songs in my head right now yeah. that I know note for note right. that you won't hear until April. Damn. And I know them, like, I know all these songs. They're in my head right that's now. Crazy. I'm going to think, I'm going to sing. You know which one's going to be the big one, too. I'm singing it right now. Yeah. Oh. I, April, man. Oh. You ever meet an actor sometimes and they got some crazy kind of facial beard thing going on? And like a big actor, you'd be like, what are you working on? Like, I'm just doing a movie. And you're like, God, I know it's a huge movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and then like a year shit. later, it's like, so-and-so is Jesus in Spielberg. <laughs> Jesus. And you're like, I met that guy. I met that, yeah. When he had the thing, he never told me it was the movie about <laughs> Jesus. And he, I just met him and he said it was for a thing. Yeah, yeah. Actors, that whole thing is so great. I, I oh. also love the idea of being an actor. You can eat whatever you want and look however you want to look and just say it was for a role. Yeah. And I wonder if there's ever been an actor who just put on a bunch of weight and then said, get me a heavy person's role. Wow. And then as a way to right, be like, right. it was for a role. It was for a role. That's what. I think that would be, I think that would be role. awesome. I got a trainer recently, but I was too insecure. I couldn't find a good one. So I wanted to ask Instagram. And oh, because Instagram understands fitness. <laughs> if there's one place to go as your fitness. I found a really good one through it. But what oh, I said on, right on Instagram's always right on with the fitness. What I said on Instagram was, um, <laughs> Looking for a good trainer, I, I'm practicing for a role. Exactly. <laughs> and it made it okay to say I was looking for a trainer. Exactly. You can talk about It wasn't, there was no role. Because what do we love more than we hate talking about weight? A job opportunity. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Yeah. So that listen, was that. Hey, Paul, listen, I've let myself go. Do you have anything out there for a, for a guy who's pretty round right now? I don't know. Uh, maybe some, I don't know. Can I fight a bear? Yeah. Anything? <laughs> can I, <laughs> anything you got? No? Ah, uh, fuck. All right. Get me a trainer. <laughs> so you're striking out with trainers yes. and therapists. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, it's a little bit of a... You gotta call me. I, 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 yeah. As a collector, yeah. I also think I find the best people. Yeah. I put myself through the experiments of liking things and not liking things. Yeah. And then I just take the part that was good and I go, just start here. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Ah. John, this is literally... Yeah. Kerwin, this is awesome. Thank you. This is awesome. <laughs> Kerwin Frost, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. Oh, there we go. My handshake to hug. Really